Yeah, what's up YouTube? TB back here. Tips with Teep Detroit Uplink, last uplink, and last map of the respawns for this series. Might do some more on hardpoint now that the game has developed a little bit more, and do some on how to break card points in certain setups on each of the maps, but we'll get into that later. A little bit more in-depth stuff. But anyways, let's get back into Detroit right now. Last map. Of the respawns I gotta go through with tips and tips, so let's get into it. As always, on uplinks, I'm gonna show you guys how to create consistent scoring attempts for you and your teammates so that when you get kills, when you push up onto the map, you know what the hell to do and how to create points and scoring attempts once you do get those kills and which ways you wanna push, where you want them to spawn, etc. So I'm gonna start off on this bottom side right here when you got when you primarily spawn under your blue point right about here. And the way you want to work this map is you want garage control and school for, for the majority of the map. There's going to be some times where you cannot do that and have to do some pushes through blue, through elbow, over to green, etc. But most of the time you want your ball guy roaming around this middle street area going for middle middle tosses right here. Jumping over this Humvee to get the scores. Slaying with your submachine gun players up into school and getting either an easy dunk either through this route hitting the easy toss from this door right here or hitting the easy school toss right about there. So if you can get your ball guy up to that point, you slay out to the lockers, you get easy one pointers and eventually and sometimes get two pointers if the situation permits itself or simply getting up to this middle humby right here, dashing across and able to hit an easy toss just like that as well. So basically the majority of the map you want to try and get your ball guy controlling either this top blue wall front fire at this green carry middle steps or on this top atlas and making sure that they're not able to overextend to your base watching flank getting through blue etc you want to control this part of the map right here as well as working your ball into school rotating middle if the other team rotates three people all the way back to their base it's very easy for your ball guy just to take the ball middle hit that easy toss right about there and you got easy points. If you know the other team is spawning on their point, however, you can easily bring your ball guy over here to the back green or simply through this elbow door at the cubby right here. Come out and go for a quick toss if need be. Get those easy points on the board for you or your squadron. This side, I would say, is, I guess, the easier side to push up on and get some easy points on as, as long as your ball guy knows how to hit those easy throws. But everyone on your team needs to be in those situations where you're getting those guaranteed one-pointers. One thing I do want to uh, put in perspective for you guys is when you get this spawn back here, you need to be very careful that when you are pushing up that you are not getting flanked from this elbow side or all the way through hotel. That's one of the easiest things to do. The other team gets a couple of kills. That they're pushed up at Garage and Middle Street, and they have one guy go here, flank all the way around you green, and hit you all the way to their base. I'll explain this a little bit more once I go through a little bit in depth on the other side, which I'm getting to in just a second. But basically, it's it's very straightforward. This is one of the most straightforward uplink maps. When you get your kills, you create the access points for your ball guy, and it's up to him or whoever's running it for your team to get up to these middle points and hit these easy one pointers to get make those kills actually matter. So let's go ahead and switch back over to the other side because this it's pretty straightforward. If you're getting your kills, you know which ways to go. You just need to know which ways to push, when to value your life, and work together as a team to get those easy points on the board for you and your squad. This side, I guess, is a little bit more uh, complex, if you want to call it that. Uh, you get a lot of different spawns depending on how your team, the other team is pushing you. You're going to spawn in this back green area, or sometimes you're going to spawn on your back point. Or sometimes if you if they completely overtake your base, you're going to get your spawn over here at pit. So it's really dependent on which spawn you're getting to know what you're, you should be doing with your teammates and what sort of plays you want to set up to try and get some points on the board. The most straightforward way to play this side is trying to just strong arm your way through the middle street. The best way to do that is slay up towards school. Make sure you have control of this fire area right here and at this pit. To make sure you're not getting flanked, you, you are in control of the spawn, the strong side of the map and forcing the other team to either spawn here in this back window right about there or force them to spawn right under their spawn point in this back area right here. However, once you get control of this middle square, you want to do your best to try and block that spawn back there so you create an access point for your ball guy to take the ball and generate an easy score. Your ball guy needs to be careful though when he's pushing the ball up middle street not to get shot at from either this side window right here at hotel or at this top 18 and simply just go up the middle street and go for these easy tosses just like that that you saw right there. Uh, going for one pointers is much safer especially on this side. It's a little bit scored to hit these scoring attempts but the best way 
to, the, in my opinion, to play this map is to once you get control of this middle square right here is when you start setting up these flank plays and going for alley-oops. Basically, the best way to do this is send a submachine gun player or a ballot, really doesn't matter, to flank either through the garage ramp right down about there. Or like I explained a little bit earlier, when you get your guy spawning up green, send him on the entire wide flank around hotel, getting to their back 18. If he's able to kill that guy back there or at this sort of general area, it's very easy for your guy right out here to not have to travel any distance at all. Just simply grab the ball and chuck it around there so your ball guy over there can easily take it and run in for the dunk or chucking a little bit closer to the point if you have a guy sneaking to your to their base either from garage or etc so you just have your two guys slaying out at middle street you pick up the kills you wait for your flanker guy to call out the play that he is making if they if that guy picks up a kill it's very easy for your ball guy to just chuck the ball up to the base and have him go for the alley-oop as you guys are able to block this garage spawn. And even if you don't block it, just making sure that they're not able to just completely and easily retake control of pit, garage, and school. So you can set up, set up relays and more scoring attempts for you in the squad. There's a couple... I mean, there's not really a couple. There's a couple different ways you can play this side. You can take the ball through garage, but that's not very popular. The one other one I will explain that you're going to see a lot of really good teams do is when they take the ball through this elbow side like this random garden right here. They're going to send their guys in front of them. And basically, what the ball guy is going to want to do is jump out of this, uh, this little archway right here and easily hit this toss over the 18. So if you're defending against it, the main access point to block this guy is just simply lay right here and wait for him to come out. But the ball guy's just gonna run out right here, hit the hit the jump, dash, easy toss, and get that one on the board. So that's one thing you can do as well. If you don't feel comfortable going middle street and you don't have much success doing it, start taking the ball on this elbow side, get him into hotel, and go for those easy tosses. One more sort of desperation toss I'll show you before I end this video is simply the front, the top atlas one. If you're down in the game, if you're if you know you're blocking your spawn back there or you're stunning them, you can easily go for this toss right here. Hopefully, I make it for the sake of the video. You just dash forward and you're easily able to hit that bounce. Pretty simple right there. You want to make sure the ball lands in this sort of flat area so it just hits that easy bounce in. You need to make sure you dash far enough on the street. You just hit the arc enough with the bounce so it's easily able to bounce in. And it's sort of a desperation play if you need a last second point. You can easily just stun them off spawn. A little bit to the right, that'll probably miss. Nope, it's still bounced in, but that's the toss you can do with you and your squad mates if you need a last second point on this map as well. Basically, this is very, very straightforward of a map. Not too much I can really tell you guys. If you get the kills, if you know how to set up uh, flanks and pinches and timing pushes on their spawns and know how to manipulate the spawns from there to there to there, you're going to generate easy points and don't play too greedy. Of course, if you get the three or four dead, you're going to go for an easy dunk, but whenever possible, you want to set up these easy one-point plays and guarantee yourself points on the map. Hitting those balance throws every time. The last thing I'm going to explain before I end this video is knowing when to hit the 15 second. Especially when you have a lead, you need to know certain situations where putting the ball up up here, especially this is the most popular spot up top garage, resetting the ball up there into the 15 second marker is a huge thing for your team. And if you even have a, a feeling that you're going to lose control of map, you, you go two dead, you're, it's, very, it's, a, it's a very good play, even when you're tied, to go ahead and chuck this ball up here on the top 15 so you guys can slay your way back into the strong side of the map instead of scoring attempts that way as well. If you lose map control, if you lose a bunch of gunfights, there's no harm in throwing that ball up there in the top 15 and giving your team 15 seconds to regroup, try and slay your way back and make your way back into the game so that they're not creating an easy scoring attempt on you. That's going to do it for me here on Detroit Uplink, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed some of these different sort of pushes and ideas that might help you and your team. A little bit basic, Detroit is very, very simple of a map, especially on, on, up, on Uplink. So hopefully, pretty basic tips, but hopefully it'll help you and your teams out when you're trying to improve. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of videos coming out. Thanks, guys. Went 2-0 again in the league. Loving it. See you guys next time. Peace.